Alright, what is up guys? ForgerCasp here. Um, I recently just got a capture card, so I am playing this on my Xbox One. So, yes, yeah, since I got a capture card, I will be making a lot of new videos from my Xbox. So, that'll be a lot of fun. Here we go. Activision presents a smashing blast from the past. Developed by Vicarious Vision. There's the original crash. And there's the original, I mean not the original, the new crash. So this has all three games. I've played the, or I used to own the second and the third game. I never played or owned the first one, but I um I'm gonna for I'm on my channel I'm gonna play the third one just because I have uh, I just want to play that um because I don't know that one is just really fun so Crash Bandicoot Warped is the one we will be playing so new game uh, disable autosave. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uga is free? No, it cannot be. Evil, great evil has come. None have dared fail the great Uka Uka even once. But you, Cortex, you have failed me twice. Great Uka Uka. It was that infernal bandicoot. From deep inside my temple prison, I sent you simple instructions to follow. But you lost the gems. You lost the crystals. And I have lost my patience. There is now no other power source left on this planet. I know we've had a few unfortunate setbacks. And failed. But since your fumbling has managed to set me free, I am feeling generous. There is still a way to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet. And this time, this time, the great Uka Uka will make sure that you do it. Uka Uka had been freed from his underground prison. Long ago, I locked him there to protect the world from his malice. Now, free once again, he must be stopped. Children. Uka Uka and Cortex plan to use this time-twisting machine to gather crystals that may scattered across time. I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do. To open the time portal, 
simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck. All right, so that is the intro to the game. Yeah, the graphics are really good. They did, they definitely did a very good job. So we will use the first save slot. Uh, interact. Do you want her to join your adventure? Yes. Okay, so now I could just, oops, now I could just swap into Coco anytime I want. But, I'd rather, much rather be Crash. Alright, so, first level it is. Crash, Crash, Crash. Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh look, I have a mask helping me too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. I don't know the whole story on the masks. I don't know if they explain it. I don't think they explain it in the first one. I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, I might try to get all the boxes in some of the levels, but I'm not going to try every single level to get a- I'm not going to try to get the, the, all the boxes in every level, because that's a bit tedious. Tedious, and, um, can get annoying. Uh, I messed it up. Whatever. I honestly don't care. Just went flying. Got the second Udubga, the little mask. All right. Boom. Seven out of seven boxes here. So we got all the boxes here. Uh, yeah. Okay, go up here, break the boxes here, oh, he almost hit me. There we go, and we got all the boxes, so we got the crystal, the purple crystal for beating the level. You have to get the purple crystal um, in every level. If you don't, then you have to play it again to beat the level. Then the white crystal you get, or like the diamond you get for uh, for breaking all the boxes. So, yeah. And he does that little victory dance every time you um you get you break all the boxes. So let's just jump in here. Gotta watch out for the mines. Uh, can't touch the puffer fish. Oh, uh, oh, it did hit me. Oh, I kept the uh, the mask from the last level. Okay, that's cool. 
Nope. Okay, there we go. Was there a box there? Oh no, I thought there was a box there. I guess it was just the uh, the metal from the pipe. No. Let's get past him. And we'll swim in here. Oh wait, I need to get on this thing. Now I can just shoot missiles like crazy. This looks like some kind of Gungan ship. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it kind of looks like it. Like it could be one. And there's some boxes hidden in these. And then it breaks. Okay. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Break these boxes. Go over the mine. Alright, let's just break all these. Oh, I almost died there. See the crystal up here? Gotta, can't forget that. I just have to restart the level. Oh, okay. And we got the the gem, the crystal for getting all the boxes. So nice, nice. Pumping through these levels quick. So I might beat the whole third game on my channel. Um, if I do, then I'll have like each section for like. A section for each video like all these five levels and then the boss will be one video so it might be a little bit longer but just I feel like that'd be a good way to split it up oh I gotta play as Coco Coco for Coco Pops <laughs> little tigre I missed a box, yeah. Well, I guess I'm not gonna get all the boxes for this level. Or the, yeah. Yep, missed that one. Jump over the dragon. Oh, okay, I did get the checkpoint, good. Well, I got 14 lives, that's a lot. No, 15. Got a lot of lives stacked right now. Oh, and that's why. Okie dokie. Oh, and I'm down. It's weird how the dragon's like bodies aren't, um, I don't know, because there's supposed to be like a or like a kite, but like there's just the empty space in between. No! Okay, this is really annoying. So many lives. Now I'm losing them all. Oh no, for those ones you don't jump, you go under. That's right, that's right. Well, I didn't hit the little springboard. Oh, if you hold X, you go faster? I didn't know that. Huh. Oh, I'm 
almost hit that barrel. Nope, leave me alone, please. Oh, almost died there. Yeah, I missed a lot of boxes, but I kind of don't care. Must you get something? Get like an achievement for doing them all? I'm not sure. Get the fourth one. Done the sword. Oh, Tiny the Tiger. I think he's a tiger. Yeah. Which doesn't make any sense, because Coco was just riding a tiger that was small, and it was like an actual animal or pet, and then that tiger is like an actual person. I don't know. Also very confusing. Hello, little uh, Triceratops. You're gonna chase me. Oh, yep, I got burned. I used to hate this level when I was a kid. On the PlayStation. No. It's because I tried to go for the box, so I died. Um, I go this way. Barely made it out alive. All right, there I go. Woo! Oh, okay. I'm gonna blow up the other TNT over here. Oh, there's like these little scuba diver, or not scuba diver. There's these little creepy boys in the mud. They all they used to like really kind of like not like scare me, but they're really creepy when I was a kid. Yeah, those guys. And if they kill you, they like jump out and like, grab you. Oh, see, so jumped out just there. There you go. If you can't make a jump, if you slide and jump, then you'll jump higher. The controls in the second and third game are a lot better than they are in the first. Bonus level! How do you get the boxes up there? Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. I think I might know how to do it. Okay, cool. Break all those. Oh, are you? I spun the uh, the extra life away, so I didn't wasn't able to collect it. I could just like jump off the edge and die, and then restart it so I can get it again. But I really don't want to do that. It's fine. Wow. <gasps> Another little m mud baby. Did that kill him when I did that? I'm not sure. Perfect, there we go. Alright. We got 
this kid. Run! Oh, yeah, the grass slows you down. Don't want to go in the grass. Oh, man, I got smashed. Oh, don't go in the grass. And I hit the lava again. <sighs> So I hope you guys had a good Christmas and everything, so, yeah, mine was pretty good. Yeah, I missed that box, dang it. If you're seeing this later, then I hope your Christmas was good, too. Okay, it's just getting annoying now. You've got to be kidding me. It's just like the end of the level. I, keep, I always get stuck on that grass. Oh my goodness. It's always that patch of grass. Actually, I think I can go around the lava. I had so many lives and I'm just losing them all. I think I'm just stupid. that box uh, yes I did it okay nice nice okay I mean it wasn't like the parts not too hard it was just messing up So that was four, am I correct? Yes. So five is a cocoa level. Uh, air trick, use the left stick, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna get all the boxes in this level. And playing these level like this game as a kid, I used to think these levels were so much harder than they actually are, just because I like wasn't as good back then. Oh yeah, I I think the the original Crash Bandicoot games were made for the PlayStation One. But I had the PlayStation 2, never the PlayStation 1, so we'd play them on the PlayStation 1. But we could never save our progress, so we would get like really far, and like into the game, and then we turn off the console because we like, you know, I couldn't play anymore or had to do something. And then we turn it back on, and all of our progress was lost, just because like we didn't have the correct memory card. Yet it works for all of the other PlayStation 2, like the actual games for the PlayStation 2, so I don't know. Okay, I did get it. Good, good, good. Oh, okay. This part is quite annoying. There we go. Oh, that's right, for this part you have to go in between the, the bombs. Why are you looking all mad at me? Sorry. <laughs> Alright, go in between these bombs. We beat the level. Then we got to fight Tiny. Tiny Tigre. Oh. 
Alright, so I think this is like a bonus level if we go on that. But yeah. Oh, her, uh, her, like, body slam. She just lands on her butt. And then Crash just lands on his chest. Boom! Bada slam! Let's go. Gladiator Arena. People in the audience look so ugly and weird. It's because that's what they look like in the original, so they gotta remake it and like keep it the same, but it's just very, very interesting. This boss fight is actually, boss fight is pretty easy. Just gotta run from him. Put his pitchfork in there. You just knock him down, and then for when the lines come out, if you go into the left corner, and just the the line they they can't hurt you. It's like a glitch, and then for when they remade the game, you see they're throwing cheese. They're like booing and throwing cheese because it's like like a cheap move. So that's a little Easter egg that that was uh, put into the game. So that's cool. Wait, is he a tiger? He doesn't have any stripes though. And what is he? Oh, oops, I forgot. No! Wait, I jumped on top of the tiger? Or in the lion and it didn't kill me? Wait, is Tiny not. Okay, what is Tiny then? Yeah! Boo him! Uh, for more powerful belly flop, press A, press the A button to jump, and then press B at the top of the jump. Boom! Well done, children. By defeating Tiny, you have unlocked the gate to the next time travel area. Go back to the center of this time twister and save your progress if you wish. From there, you will see that the gate to the second time travel area is now open. Alright, cool. So now I have a new power. If I jump up and then boom. Yeah, see it does a little... Kind of... Kind of comes out a little bit more. And then if you go to Coco and if we do it... Boom! The big booty bam! Booty bam! Booty bam! Alright, cool. Alright, that will do it all for this video. Um, I will see you all in the uh, in the next video. Uh, if you want to see more Crash Bandicoot, then uh, leave a like and comment down below. I will see you all in the next video, guys.